There is a lot of information in this show about Ripple and the IMF. Open your eyes, people. Coinbase has changed its trade pairs for New York. Users can find a lot of news out there. Not a single day goes by. In crypto, that's a sad time. Let me explain. I'll jump right in so that we can make sure everything is taken care of. I have 6,634 Bitcoins right now. It's 4.2% more than the day before. It's going up now at 26.52. The value of USDT and USDUSDC is getting closer to their doll pecs by 2.96%, and XRP is trying to break through 61 cents. Is it possible that the 6566C will be tested again at 4.26%? Level time will definitely show, and I hope we can fit in a small push-up. This was shown by Bice. Let it keep writing until we get back to that $1.70-0-0 area. You might be able to take it with you to the promised land. The value of all cryptocurrencies on the market is $2 trillion, which is about $155 billion. The XRP system wasn't meant to be used by many people in the real world. No one would be able to use it well, even if you built it. It's not another slow NFT project that we're working on. They'll come because of this, who gave you nothing in exchange for their NFTs. We also give back about 800,000 XRP to people who own them. Now we're going to talk about games, which is important when we talk about adoption. There are not many days left in the month, so get your NFTs this month. This week, an important statement will be made about the NFT. The longer you keep it, the more XRP you will get back. Some people might say that our starting packs are a bit pricey in the morning. They have already spent all of their money, but folks, you get 15 points, which means you are DNA and will get 15 times more XRP in return than the next two users. Ranges TS what is a piece of land. There are three months left to build the metaverse. When that time is up, you will get 100,000 coins. The coins themselves are paying for this project. The only thing you're getting are the bonnets. Yes, I'm not sure what you're doing. You can use a credit card or XRP to pay. In the event that the past happens again, Jap said that XRP will erupt like a volcano. I really love volcano. The Bitcoin market has seen this happen a lot of times. We saw 60,000 per pump, and Visa told us that this was our next goal. 66 cents is a barrier, but I agree with it. You can see that he's close by. We both have 75, he has 75. There were about 74 of them. This map looks good to me. We are looking for the break over 666. This is a bad number for the devil, but if we break above it, we can let a lot of money in up to the 74C range. The information on this chart is true and good. At the moment, different people have different views on this, but this week is the Federal Reserve and Bank in Kuwait's summer workshop on money, banking, payments, and finance for 2024. Christopher Walker's Fader administration is always aware of the risks that come with bank runs, non-banking institutions, stablecoin sales, decentralized ledger exchanges for cryptocurrency, and the ways that certain protocols can affect the security of the financial system. Watch and listen to this short movie. We'll hear about some very interesting studies on this subject. That includes questions like CH about how a central bank could find a balance between actions used to achieve a certain monetary policy stance and actions taken to keep the economy stable, as well as how banks take on risk and understand the risk of running on stable markets. This year's workshop will keep up that spirit of innovation by looking ahead to the future of money and banking in the papers that will be given. For example, decentralized ledger exchanges for crypto assets and how some methods affect the stability of the financial system. As the money and finance system has changed, so have we. This class brings together a lot of different modeling and point of view on money banking theory and how it can be used. One theme that has come up over and over is the need to pay close attention to the small details of institutions and micro foundations. These are necessary for a thorough, a thorough analysis and understanding of today's financial innovations and what they mean for policy and welfare. Looking into these new tools helps us understand how they will affect the financial system as a whole. I am not going to stop payments. And exchange processes are multi-billion dollar global businesses that are always coming up with new ideas. Working with researchers in this field for 20 years has given me knowledge that has helped me in one of my roles as reserve governor. This role helps the Fed keep an eye on the U.S. Payment system and shapes my ideas about how to make international payments cheaper and faster. These conversations have helped me get past different kinds of friction that everyone in this group knows about. It is a big goal that the G20 agreed to in 2020, and the Federal Reserve fully supports it. The show looks really cool. Ripple has learned a lot from working for the Bank of Canada about how certain protocols affect the stability of funds and what protocols could be used. Do you remember the test? I really wish I had it open when the Bank of Canada used the XRP system to send money to Germany. Anders says that the Bank of International Settlements Innovation Hub launched the Cornerstone project today. The project's goal is to look at data for ISO 222 
and they will give ISO 2022 data a normal place to be analyzed. ISO will be a very important part. I want to stress again how hard it is to make a global banking system that works with other systems and how to make it work. In that case, no one has to touch it, they can just spend it. A third party that works as a link between different currencies so that they don't have to rely on outside funding. People, please open your eyes now that you've thought about it. This is in reaction to what Anders said in November 2017, when Ripple held a meeting in New York for 22, yes, 24 central banks. A speech from the IMF opened the summit, and people who were there remember Brad Garlinghouse leaving with Christine Lagarde. Lagarde then sat down and talked to all the big bankers and actors in the world. Ripple and the IMF have worked together for a long time, at least six years, if I remember correctly. Interesting fact, Ripple and someone else talked about digital currencies issued by central banks years before they released their CBDC platform. Who do you call to get the IMF and 22 central banks to start meeting? That question was very good. Responding to Mr. Rath of Com, he said that Pala gave a good report on the national payment system built in concrete with Ripple's XRP ledger. He also said that the work was noteworthy that the IMF tech helper team was involved by the stakeholders and on the list. This says that Ripple gives the contract with the IMF team for this project some weight, since the IMF is already up and running. You can also look at what the IMF says about Palo. A lot of people who are interested in XRP know that Ripple has been talking to the IMF for about six years. This means that Ripple's team has probably had important technical agreements for putting the system into action in a way that works for both parties. And so far, everyone is happy. Remember that Palau backs up the US dollar with XRP? I really believe that this is a test for us and the Federal Reserve, but I do have a question. Of all the world's money, why would you choose to use the US dollar? The test of the US dollar is going well. The IMF gets involved later in this process. Something is being cooked. The time for this to come out is quickly approaching, so prepare yourself.